Okay, so school trains in Montreal and I've caught up with um, that westbound train that I saw at the LaSalle overpass. Here I am at St. Patrick Street. Same train. Just by walking over here, I caught up with it. So a snowstorm around 4.45, I guess. St. Patrick Street Bridge in uh, Point St. Charles. I got this westbound train. Didn't quite catch what locomotives they were there. GEs, that's for sure. Probably ES-24s. And then a uh, medium snowstorm with nice flakes. Hopefully my battery will uh, accept this colder weather and not conk out in the middle of the train. Yeah, this is pretty decent weather. It's not really that cold. It's minus two or three. With a little bit of wind, but not bad. So I spent maybe an hour and a half walking around Point St. Charles getting a couple of trains. Between about 3.30 and here for 4.45, almost 5 I guess. I checked in the, uh, in the yard, Point St. Charles yard. Yeah, it looks like another train via train behind it. In the Point St. Charles yard I checked and those uh, AMT trains are still there. Those uh, single level Comet 2s are still still in the, in the tracks. They are going to be sold so they will probably be moving on 527 eventually but not on today's 527 which I believe this might be. Of course it may not be. This train may be just making a diversion around Point St. Charles Yard because of a lot of rail traffic. I really can't say. Wisconsin Central. We still see a lot of Wisconsin Central rail cars even though it's been part of CN now for a good, I don't know, 15, 15 years really see those snowflakes. And you can hear the bell too from the St. Albois Street crossing which is just on the other side of the Lachine Canal. There goes a crummy bus. I really hate those buses. No shocks, no style. New look buses were the king. Really cool to see these trains in the in the snow like this, and in the in the light of you know the road and everything like that. That's really nice. Really worth being out here. Obviously, I won't be out here very long. This will be the last train I get, probably. Unless I get one at Dorval. And this is a perspective I don't usually get because I'm usually up on the hill. Too much snow to be up there, so now I'm on the sidewalk. I'm kind of glad now that I didn't go all the way to St. Albois. I would have not got this train, that's for sure. I left way before I could get across the bridge to go to St. Ambois. So, 
this is the best next best spot to go and it's not a bad place really bridge is well illuminated it's got a, a street light right there plus uh, cars ambient light is pretty decent at this time and luckily in a few weeks we'll be back to uh, daylight time that'll be in about a month and uh, not, not a month I'm getting ahead of myself it'll be in about uh, two months in the March 7th I believe but I'm really looking forward to it and in April, the Ram should be up and running, as I hear. It was supposed to be up and running this winter, but they did want to do some testing just to make sure we didn't get what happened in Ottawa with their light rail notoriously failing and issues. The breeze was really high on that berm at the uh, Point St. Charles Yard, so I didn't stick around to get any pictures of stuff. I just went up there. Breeze was too high. I was like, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go to the LaSalle Street crossing there, the, the, the bridge at LaSalle Boulevard, where it's relatively sheltered. And along the way, we've got a few trains too. This one looks like it's all tankers. The, the snow is accumulating on them, so it's really cool. Yeah, these snowflakes will look really cool. They're big enough to show up. Not small ones, that's for sure. So when you think of snowfall in Montreal, this is probably what you're thinking of. Stereotypical snow like this. And there we have a person biking. Yes, people do that in Montreal in the winter. Not me, uh, I don't want to destroy my bike. Quite frankly, it uh, gets pretty expensive to maintain if you're going to be in the winter time. So, moving parts, problems, and the, the snow and salt and everything like that that they throw in these streets. That's really nicely illuminated. People jogging in this weather. Yeah, the breeze is coming up. So maybe these people aren't jogging to jog, they're jogging to get home because it's cold. <laughs> Well, so far so good with the uh, with the battery keep my fingers crossed that this doesn't die in the middle because that would be kind of a shame it's really a nice really a nice view here It's still coming. And it looks like the end. Well, that's going to be good. So if you like what I do, please subscribe to Cool Trains of Montreal. Have a good day. Enjoy the snow.